Okay, let's see where we are. Okay, we're gonna keep this short. I'm already late for the DA. First up, Phelps, Bukowski. We got a report of a brand new Packard abandoned in an empty lot off 2nd Street between Olive and Grand. DR is one Oswald Jacobs says the vehicle was dumped in his backyard. There's a patrolman on site. Get down there and see what you can turn up. Any questions? Good, get going. Better go earn our pathetic wages. I like Stefan's tie. Stefan? Forgot how they pronounce his name. We've got a scene. A Rimsky, O'Halloran. Intelligence has information on a stolen car racket. An abandoned vehicle. We catch all the good ones, huh, Phelps? Sounds like there's more to it than that. Nobody Why dumps Phelps a shiny so loud package compared to everyone else. without asking. You don't say. You're on fire today, Einstein. Very funny. <laughs> Come on, my intense protege. Let's go save the world. I'm I appreciate the that they put uh, exit signs on the top, so when I inevitably get lost, I can find where I'm trying to go. You hear about Adrian? We brought in Seattle, threw him out. Wife says she's gonna take him back. Women generally. Oh god. Oh god. I was gonna try to drive safely. Adrian dumped on her. He was humping the secretary. Oh god. Okay. It's fine. Before a fall, Bukowski. Talking from experience. All units, shots fired. Off needs help. Chateau and Valencia. Chateau and Valencia. Shots fired. Off needs help. Unit to handle code three. Identify. I guess now is an appropriate time for me to turn my siren on. Excuse me. That car was not in flame. Oh, they actually pulled over. Oh, fuck. Shit. I don't- I don't need you to run out of your car, I need you to- Get out of the way. Oh, God. Okay, this case is a lot farther than I thought it was. I don't know why I was the person to respond. Motherfuckers, come on up here and get us. What is all this? 
Traffic stop from hell. Crowley and pulls these guys over. Finds a trunk full of hardware like you wouldn't believe. They lose it. Bullets start flying, and they snatch up the guns and one of the cops. Head to high ground and make their stand. And the officer? Up there. Still alive, we think. Who knows for how long. We'll keep him busy if you can find a way up, sir. Richard Cleaner and Boulder. Oh, oh, okay. That's that's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> Let me just slowly pick through a bunch of weapons. We have to get up somehow? Throw out the guns! Can I climb up that? I'm... Phelps is... abnormally athletic. He should be able to climb that up. Weapons on the ground! Now! Is there a ladder? Can he climb up this? He can climb up... Okay, this pole is different than other poles. Oh, 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 what? Ace detective, ace policeman. Perfect. One shot, one kill. 11K. I've been involved in a shooting. It's code four here, but suspects are down, and I need an ambulance at Chateau and Valencia. Also notify detective headquarters. I'll need the coroner. My partner and I are okay. 11K, Roger on the ambulance and coroner. Detective headquarters will be notified. All units, 11K reports, code four on the shooting. Where the Chateau fuck were you, Valencia, Stefan? Code four. Now we have to go all the way over here. I wish we had turn signals in this game. So I could more accurately be extremely boring and try to drive safely. Oh, Jesus, why are you going so Try slowly? Try making it to the next intersection without killing anybody. Can you do I that for me? I didn't kill anyone this time. I, I'm i just lightly hitting them. Jesus. Oh Jesus. Oh Jesus. Oh God. Oh Jesus. Oh God. Oh my God. Oh that was just square into that woman. Okay. Everything's fine.
please get out of the way. I have the siren on. Uh, uh, okay, we're good. Eleven K responding. Go ahead, KGPL. Everything's fine. Perfect. This is what we wanted. This was the goal. Now you pennies is hiding from me. I will find you all and eat you. Yes, We're getting like traumatic flashbacks Damn. from the layout of this to have so much the heavy rain clock chapter. Only I'm allowed to hit pedestrians. What are you doing? Get the hell down from there, you lunatic! Alright, it's time for everyone in LA to be extremely athletic. Okay, he went to the right. You really need to lay off the pills. Oh god, I forgot I forgot which ones to dodge. Alright. There we go. Really there we dance. go. Okay. <laughs> I think it says something that uh the only button that I can remember which one it is 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 dodging, and I can't for the life of me figure out. Is what is that? Okay, that's grapple. How do you punch? How do you punch? Is this punch? Is this punch? <laughs> He's just gonna beat me up. How do you pre how do you how do you fight him? Press press triangle to perform a grapple attack. I know I've I've, I've done that already. Do it again. All right. Oh really want to oh I have to be holding L two. Okay, okay we know for next time. You have to hold L two to engage combat. Otherwise you just walk around with your fists up. Look, our car is all fixed, too. We were never going to get to this mission. Oh, that turns around and looks behind us. Ooh, that's a nice car. Hold on, give me a sec, give me a sec. Everyone, everyone stop. Isn't he the cop they've been... Yeah, I mean, I probably am the cop people have been talking about because I'm an awful driver. See ya, Stefan. Oh, catching some air. All right. Oh wait, no, I don't think we're there yet. Never mind. I was tricked by the map zooming in and out. Okay. The question is, is Stefan still, is he like running towards you us? Idiot. Will we see him coming up over the hill? It's hard to tell, the dot doesn't seem to be moving, but it might also just be a little farther than I thought. Come on, Stefan. Come on, Stefan, I believe in you. Run up this hill.
Do we see him? I don't see anyone out of the ordinary. Is he just standing where I left him? Oh, you know what? I bet I'm just farther away from from him than I thought I was, so it would have taken him a while to get to us. Where is he? He should be close to us. Do we see him? He's not moving towards us though, is he? He's just standing there? Oh no, now he's moving. Is that him? That's him running? There we go, that's him running. Run, Stefan, run! Come on. Come on, Stefan. Oh, he stopped. This camera keeps wanting to turn this way. Come on, Stefan. Hurry up, Stefan. Sprint, sprint, sprint! We're gonna get you up this hill. Camera, please stop. I just want to look at Stefan. <laughs> he, he just ran over that woman! He just, he just ran! He just... He just pushed her down and ran over her. Come on, Stefan. Let's go, let's go. Too bad this is in San Francisco, otherwise I'd say let's find Lombard. Yeah, yeah, get that cardio in. These people! Where'd you learn how to drive? Okay, fine, get in the car. I like how when you start moving too, he just stops and stares at you like, are you serious? Are you fucking kidding me? You're gonna move again? I can't believe that he literally he literally ran over a person. Not even in a vehicle. He just he just stepped on top of her and she fell down. down the alleyway, detectives. We got a call about an abandoned vehicle? Yes, sir. The car has flags. Might be some kind of diplomatic vehicle. Has anyone touched this vehicle since you arrived? No. And that Jacob's bird over there was on station before I got here. We'll talk with him in a moment. Give us some time to look the place over. Sure, take your time. He's a sore-headed old son of a bitch anyway. Wow, rude. He could probably still hear you. Okay, so here's the phone for when we inevitably need to call. Are they honking because I left my car in the middle of the road? I hope so. Oh, yeah. Hold on. Give me a sec. Yeah. Just fancy travel. Just Oh, yeah. Just getting my cardio in. Poor, St poor Stefan is just following me. <laughs> no, no, Stefan, we need to do it again. Over here, come on. Just kidding. Come back here. Come back here. Okay, what happens if by the time, like, I'm back where, where you started before... Okay, come on, turn around, Phelps. Turn around, Phelps. Oh, God, you're too slow. Uh, actually, it seems like only one person can flip at a time. Because, um... Oh, okay, so we just confirmed. So he's... He's, he's actually just following my path. He's not just trying to get near me because 
um, I went over and came back, and we were on the same side, and he still went over and back after me. Uh, but I think I've also found out that we can't... Uh, so he, he should decide at some point to move over, if that's right. Or no. That's wrong. Okay, well maybe he was just being weird before then. I've also found out that only one person could jump a fence at a time. Anyway, that was all necessary to the game. Hold on, what are they honking at? Is it me? I hope it's me. Let's just find out if it's me. No, I don't see anything. Are they just honking for no reason? I think they're just honking for no reason. There's no traffic. What are you all being annoyed about? Oh, wow. Wow, that was a high wall. That took effort. Oh, whoa. Look at that double combo. Come on, Stefan. Did you just walk around the fence? Did you just walk around the fence, Stefan? This is not what this is not what you signed up for when we decided to get married. Here. Are you gonna hop? Are you gonna hop? You are gonna hop. Good. Nope. You're just gonna stand across from us like we're sad lovers separated by tradition and our warring families. Catch me. Okay, I recognize that flag. I must have taken the flag as a souvenir. Can't have any um, street value. It's on my friend's Instagram page, but I forget which country his ancestry is from, <laughs> but I've seen it on, on his Instagram page. We'll have to use the registration to trace the owner. Wait, was there nothing else to analyze here? It was just... Okay, it was just that. Nope, I... Oh God, stop showing me the same thing. Okay. It's owned Happy by the Argentinian Embassy. Argentina, okay. There we go. Empty. I mean, that's not empty. There's still stuff we could look at. It's probably not useful, but there is still stuff. Okay, it's missing a wheel. Stealing the wheels is for amateurs. Car ring would have stripped it in a warehouse. Okay. What else do we have here? Um. Hold on. Give me a second. My mom is asking me what can beat Entei in Pokemon Go. <laughs> um. Entei Pokemon Go. The sad thing is, like, I don't, I don't actually know. I just, I just look it up on Google. Hey. But uh, oh, let's get moving. No matter how many times I'm like, oh, you know, you can just look it up on Google. My, my, my mom doesn't do that. So I'm like, okay, I'll just, I'll look it up on Google for you. <laughs> um, let's see. Entei Pokemon Go counters. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> that is our job to to uh, get contacted uh, by our by our parents and then look things up on Google for them. Okay. 
Okay. So. Kyogre, Rampardo, Swampert, Kingler, Feraligator. Uh, I also have learned that I can't just like link the page Call. to them. Um, give me a to second, do. Stefan. I know Stefan. Um, but I can't just like link the page. I have to take screenshots of everything on the page. So. <laughs> Okay, anyway, I'm back. You hold, press L1 to use intuition to search for clues, but does that use up a resource? Because even though I will never use this resource, it appear to be um, I will feel obligated to save it as much as possible. Because that's the uh, video game way. Combination wrench. I must have used it to remove the wheel lugs. Oh, that's everything. Perfect. Where's the uh, guy that everyone was complaining about? Is that him? Let's see what this Jacobs guy has to say. The car was dumped in his backyard after all. Oh, that's him over here, okay. Oswald Jacobs? That's right. Oh, it's this guy! I've seen what so exactly many YouTube videos here? of him and his bad Last acting. Last night, I was looking out of my window. I like to keep an eye on what's going on. I can understand that. You see this empty lot? Damn kids play stickball here. Always breaking my windows. Always asking for their ball back. Can we get back to the car, Mr. Jacobs? Don't be impatient, Sonny. Anyway, last night I see this brand spanking new Packard up on bricks. Bricks? Did you see who stole the Packard? Hell yes, I did. I saw three goddamn Mexicans going to work on it. Let me just stare off into space. When I tell the truth, I just stare blankly into space in the distance. I mean, he doesn't seem like he's... I mean, I know when he is lying, I know the face that he makes, and it's not this. Can you tell us what they were doing? Using the headlights of an old Ford so they could strip the thing. I yelled out to him, I'll call the cops. So they loaded up their car and drove off, tooting and hollering and yelling obscenities at me in Mexican. You speak that Spanish, was a good sound. sir? No, I do not. After the uh, Mexicans left, you didn't go anywhere near the car? After I scared him off? No, I didn't go anywhere near that car. He'll never guess that I'm lying to him. What a sucker. <laughs> Foolproof. How do you know there were three of them? It was dark. It must be 50 feet from the kitchen to the car. You telling me I'm lying? Yeah, I, I find it very confusing uh, that you're right, that the change between truth, doubt, and lie to good cop, bad cop accuse. I, like, I, I think playing this a little more, I kind of get why they did it, because accuse is the only one that requires evidence, and good cop, bad cop is just whether or not you think like what you think about them, but I, I still feel like it's confusingly worded because good cop and bad cop makes it seem like that's the approach you're going to take rather than like, this is what I am doing. Um, this is what I think about what you're doing. Uh, anyway, what was it? So how do we know that he, it was dark? Hey, I pay my taxes. So do some goddamn work. Hold on, you're gonna have to tell me Sorry. what I'm you said. You have to shake the tree to see what falls out. Okay, we're accusing you again. What are you saying? Okay, he's not even gonna repeat the dialogue. God damn it. Okay, how do we know he's lying? If you're about not getting near the car, it might just be doubt. But let's see. Reported stripped and dumped an empty lot. Diplomatic flag removed. 
license plates removed, abandoned vehicle registered to the consulate, front right wheel removed. Dewey Bros. Witness reports driven from scene. Does that mean is that his backyard is not the scene? I'm assuming that's the other Nothing scene. personal. I'm just doing my job. We're just gonna we're gonna that. we're gonna do doubt. You went out to the car. Okay, doubt was right. Once they were gone, you had to take a look for yourself. I was curious. Ain't a law against that. So what if I took a look around that car? You can't be accusing me of nothing. Tell me about the car they were driving. It was an old Ford. I didn't catch the license number. Yeah, he's he's looking he's looking wistfully into the distance, looking after uh, the location of his family and all of the good food that he could eat with them. You look like the kind of guy who notices details. You're right there. The car was old, but it looked brand new. Candy apple red paint job stands out a mile. What exactly did you see them take? They was working on the tires. That's all that was took. <laughs> Why is his face doing that? He looks like the intro to Super Mario 64 where you're just dragging his corners of his lips down farther and farther. <laughs> Why did you take the license plate? Me? Well, what I do with license plates? You saying I have them? The nice thing about um, the 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 one nice thing about them being changed is that uh, at least you know for sure you can start the accusation process and not actually commit to it, and you can go back without any penalty. Okay, so I don't think I can actually prove that he took them. We just have that they're missing. So I think I it's just doubt. Right, a license plate removed from a Venom diplomatic vehicle. And then driven from scene doesn't say anything, so I think it's just out. Looks like I was mistaken. Right. So what did you take, Jacobs? Do you want my partner to pat you down? I found a notebook in the glove compartment. I was going to show you. It's on the chair on my porch. Thank you for your help, Mr. Jacobs. You can speak to Officer Thibault about signing a formal statement. When you get the car out of the way, maybe you could come back and do something about those kids. Well, how about we bring you an umpire's mask? What the fuck was that, Stefan? What, what, that wasn't even a joke. That was just... What it... Can't trust you for anything. Oh. What just happened? How did we get here? I was just gonna go to the end of the porch and see if the notebook was there. Somehow we ended up outside. Is this the notebook? Where's the notebook? This is not the notebook? I'm just stepping on all of his boxes of paraphernalia? Wait, no, Stefan, you have to- hold on, Stefan, you need to follow me. Come on, let's go. Yeah! <laughs> Step on all of his boxes of shit. Is, is this the journal? He said he took a journal and he said it's on the porch, but... Oh, here we go. Okay. Juan Francisco Valdez. John Madsen. Okay, so we have the owner of the vehicle. Henry Grove. Nice I'll John eyelashes. John Madsen by R and I. Hold on, wait, 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 wait. I, I, I want to look at a uh, Henry Grove who has nice eyelashes. Contact details on a William Dewey. This looks like business rather than. Gabriel, pleasure. angelic features but feisty. Timothy Stobo, slim hips. Jean Bo. What is what is that letter? 
dark good looks, Kenneth Vaughn, particularly shy. Is this like a sugar daddy thing? I hope this plays decently. I think this place dry. Because game well. I would be down to see more canonical queerness, but hopefully it's not like that's the source of the criminality. Phelps, one, two, four, seven. How can I help, detective? Who notices really nice eyes? We run the name Dewey Brothers, possibly a dealership or car mechanics workshop. One moment. Dewey Brothers Packard Dealership, 629 Figueroa Street. Got it. Can you put me through to Michigan 2458, please? Connecting you now. Hello, can I help you? LAPD, ma'am. Can I speak to John Madsen, please? He's at school, officer. Uh, what's this about? Is he in trouble? How old is your boy, ma'am? Just turned 16. God Wrong damn person, it. Wrong person, Mrs. Madsen. Sorry to disturb you. Is this going to be like a for me, please. pedophilia thing? There's just one message for you, detective. Four-door Packard, diplomatic license number Paul Robert 706, was reported missing this morning by Juan Francisco Valdez. Could you have him brought in? He's already here at Central, Detective. He's demanding an audience, as he calls it. Okay, Valdez, don't, don't fuck this up for me. Can you get a message to Captain Leary? Tell him we'll be in as soon as we can. Thanks. Thanks. All right, no whammies, no whammies, Can you cordon no off pedophilia. This lot until we have the vehicle impounded. Yes, sir, detective. We'll follow up on the owner. Get a statement from Jacobs, and I'll read your report back. Ooh, wait, the wait, hold on. I, I want that. I want that taxi. I want the taxi. Oh God, where are we going first? Okay, sure, sure, we're going here. I, give me the taxi. Give me Careful. the taxi. Perfect. Get out of the car. What's taking Stefan so long? Come on, Stefan. Run, run, run. Faster, Stefan. We're outside your house already. Hurry up. I thought there was this a way to change the radio station too. This has got to be the 50th abandoned vehicle call. We have caught this year. One more and I'm going to go crazy. Not your favorite cases? You kidding me? This is barely even police work. Of all the bad guys in this city, we get lumped with the ones who can't even be bothered to keep what they steal. Woo, God! Watch it! I can't decide if I've fully given up on listening to travel to traffic instructions. I don't think so. I just have to decide when and where I'm going to listen to traffic instructions. <laughs> if I kill him, he had it coming. <laughs> Woo! Oh. Can we try to get there in one piece? I crashed a little too early. I was I, I was hoping I'd crash into the scene, but the heck? Wow, we're all listening to the same radio station. Don't tell me, let me guess. You were making your way past the lot, caught sight of the new model four-door, and couldn't help yourself. Exactly. You could see yourself in that car and just had to take a closer look. I can imagine well, the possibilities and the lives that I can have in this brand new spanking car. LAPD, Mac. We'd like to speak with the owner. That's me, William Dewey, proprietor at your service. We're investigating the theft of a Packard belonging to the Argentine Embassy. Are you missing a combination wrench? I don't know, detective. But I know how we can find out. Follow me. You seem a little too friendly. 
It's like when you're playing Civ 5 and all of a sudden Genghis Khan um, gives you a friendly notification. That's when you know he's about to invade. We keep all our tools in here. Mind if we look around? Be my guest. You sure you guys aren't interested in a new car? Huh? Maybe a used car. I have some nice used cars for guys in your wage bracket. Why don't you give us some alone time, Dewey? Go sell some cars or whatever. <laughs> Is it this one? Is it this one? That's not right. But maybe it's this one. Wrong size. But maybe if I just press hard enough. No. How about now? You're right. Okay, maybe it's this one. No. What if it's this one? No, it's not this one. It doesn't quite fit. But if we just like finagle it a little bit, maybe we can maybe we can just get it to like or or maybe this outline is drawn too big and really it's a we have to redraw the outline. Maybe it's this one? No. Okay. How about no. Well, I guess this puzzle is unsolvable. Did our little, our cab came with us? Or is this a different cab that I just ruined? Oh my God, Stefan didn't even come with me. Oh no. Oh no, I can't interact with it anymore. Oh no, <laughs> I can't do this part anymore. Oh no. <laughs> How far back would reloading take me? Oh no! Hold on. What would what would I'm scared to know what would happen if I click restart? Are you sure over progress will be obtained, but the current investigation will be restarted? I is it this whole case, or is it just this section with the the car? Please tell me it's just the section with the car. I mean, at least if it's the whole case, we know exactly where everything is and, and which dialogue options are which. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, it just restarts the whole thing. Okay, we're gonna speed through the whole first two sections of this mission now because we've already just done it. Okay, we're gonna keep this short. <laughs> I'm already late for the okay. DA. First um, up, Phelps, Bukowski, we got a report of a- Yeah, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. Please stop talking, abandoned okay. Abandoned in an empty lot off 2nd Street between Olive and Grant. So, DR is one Oswald, at least from Jacob what it sounded like, it should have saved the little side, side missions that there, I did. I think those are up. separate. Any questions? From this. Good, get going. Uh, and if not, um, I guess I'm also doing those two side missions too. Better go earn our pathetic wages. Rimsky, O'Halloran. Intelligence has information on a stolen car racket. Did we keep all the cars we unlocked? Oh, actually, this is a good way to check. Let's check our log and see if we have the cab. Not that one. Okay. Uh, is it in. It's not in outfits, I don't think, right? No? Is it in outfits? No, it's not in outfits. Is it just the main menu where we can look at it? I guess so. Yep. Never mind. We can't check to see if we have a. If we have the um. The cab already. Okay. We're gonna speed through this. Hurry up, Stefan. Too late. Too slow, Stefan. I'm really sorry to that hot dog employee. Oh god. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh god, we're stuck. Okay. This is fine. Not a care in the world. No harm 
done. Perfect. Who's running their siren? Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm actually across the street. Why did it make me... so the first time that I, I think you dropped you dropped in after I had done two little side missions, and now that I'm realizing it, this case is really close to the police station, and yet the two side missions that they put on my radar were both vehicle. extremely far yes, away. Yes, sir. The car has um, flags. Might be and some kind of now I'm wondering, vehicle. like, why, why did they touch this vehicle since you arrived? Flag no. me for those. And that Jacob's bird over there was on station before I got here. Yes, please. We'll stop talk with him in a moment. Please stop give us some time to look the place over. Please stop talking. Sure, take your time. Please. He's stop a sore-headed old son of a bitch, please. anyway. Please, please, thank you. Okay. Looking at this thing, we have looked at this thing. Now we go look at the flag. We'll have to use the registration yes. to trace yes. the owner. Yes. Oh God, I pressed it again by accident. Oh God. Okay. Here we go. Look at the flag. We have looked at the flag. Now we go behind the door and look at the other. Flag thing. is a souvenir. Can't have any street value. Okay. Now we over here. We get the name of the. It's owned Perfect. by the Argentinian Embassy. Yep. And then we're gonna go and look at the back, and there's gonna be nothing there, but just in case we need to do it anyway. Empty. And then is there something over here? I think right. The wheel. And then the wrench on the ground. Stealing the wheels is for amateurs. The car ring would have stripped it in a warehouse. All right, where's the wrench? Here's the wrench. I, I am holding it, come on, zoom in. There we go. Combination wrench. Must have used it to remove the wheel lugs. Perfect. All right, now let's go talk to this man. Oswald Jacobs. That's right. What exactly happened here, Mr. Jacobs? Last night, I was looking out of my window. I like to keep an eye on what's going on. I can understand that. You see this empty lot? Damn kids play stickball here. Always breaking my windows. Always asking for their ball back. Can we get back to the car, Mr. Jacobs? Don't be impatient, Sonny. Anyway, last night I see this brand spanking new Packard up on bricks. Bricks? Did you see who stole the Packard? Hell yes, I did. I saw three goddamn Mexicans going to work on it. Can you tell us what they were doing? Using the headlights of an old Ford so they could strip the thing. I yelled out to them, I'll call the cops. So they loaded up their car and drove off, tooting and hollering and yelling obscenities at me in Mexican. You speak Spanish, sir? No, I do not. After the uh, Mexicans left, you didn't go anywhere near the car? After I scared them off? No, I didn't go anywhere near that car. You went out to the car. Once they were gone, you had to take a look for yourself. I was curious. Ain't a law against that. So what if I took a look around that car? You can't be accusing me of nothing. Tell me about the car they were driving. It was an old Ford. I didn't catch the license number. You look like the kind of guy who notices details. You're right there. The car was old, but it looked brand new. Candy apple red paint job stands out a mile. What exactly did you see them take? They was working on the tires. That's all that was took. Right. So what did you take, Jacobs? Do you want my partner to pat you down? I found a notebook in the glove compartment. I was going to show you. 
It's on the chair on my porch. Thank you for your help, Mr. Jacobs. You can speak to Officer Thibault about signing a formal statement. When you get the car out of the way, maybe you could come back and do something about those kids. Well, how about we bring you an umpire's mask? Who burn? Ah, uh, please. Okay, so we have the owner of the vehicle. Please don't be like a pedophile John thing. Madsen by R and I. Contact details on a William Dewey. This looks like business rather than pleasure. I think we've rung this place dry. Let's find a game well. Phelps badge 1247. How can I help, Detective? Could you run the name Dewey Brothers? Possibly a dealership or car mechanics workshop. One moment. Dewey Brothers Packard Dealership, 629 Figueroa Street. Got it. Can you put me through to Michigan 2458, please? Connecting you now. LAPD, ma'am. Can I speak to John Madsen, please? He's at school, officer. Uh, what's this about? Is he in trouble? How old is your boy, ma'am? Just turned 16. Wrong person, Mrs. Madsen. Sorry to disturb you. Messages, please. There's just one message for you, detective. A four-door Packard diplomatic license number, Paul Robert... 706 was reported missing this morning by Juan Francisco Valdez. Could you have him brought in? He's already here at Central Detective. He's demanding an audience, as he calls it. Thanks. Can you get a message to Captain Leary? Tell him we'll be in as soon as we can. Thanks, ma'am. Can you cordon off this lot until we have the vehicle impounded? Yes, sir, Detective. We'll follow up on the owner. Get a statement from Jacobs, and I'll read your report back at the station. Oops, that's not what I meant to do. Okay. We are going to go to the dealership, and this time, we are not going to fuck things up. Christ alive! Everything's... this is... this is fine. This is good. What the hell? Wow. That is the strongest little tree. This is the little tree that could. But I have destroyed giant light posts and this tree... This tree has with, withstood full on charging down the street, hit it with a vehicle. I'm impressed, small tree. Don't tell me, let me guess. You're making your way past the lot. I cannot believe that the there's no way to skip that scene. Couldn't help yourself. You could see yourself in that car and just had to take a closer look. Well, I can't say as I blame you. <laughs> LAPD, Mac. We'd like to speak with the owner. That's me, William Dewey, proprietor at your service. 
We're investigating the theft of a Packard belonging to the Argentine Embassy. Are you missing a combination wrench? I don't know, Detective. But I know how we can find out. Follow me. Alright, this time we're not gonna fuck things up. <laughs> I like how before he's even in, we're we like, all our tools in we're here. already doing all this shit. Mind if we look around? Be my guest. You sure you guys aren't interested hmm. in a new car? I really hmm? thought it would work this time. Maybe a used car. I have some nice used cars for guys in your wage bracket. Why don't you give us some alone time, Dewey? Don't There's comment on my wage bracket. This, it's got to be this one. No, it doesn't quite work. That's not right. Are you sure, Phelps? Wrong size. Right? Are you sure? No. One left. Gabriel Delgado is missing a three-quarter. How nice of them that it's color-coded. For ease of, uh, incriminating people. Doesn't tell me anything. This doesn't pertain to the case. Are we sure? I mean, it, we are missing a license plate, potentially. I mean, it would be sloppy for them to just leave the license plate in their workplace, but, you know. Doesn't look like anything. I mean, it looks like a tool, Phelps. Oh, that's a man's crotch. Not sure this means much. Okay. I, I did not realize uh, what was up there. Sorry, sir. Can we jump over you like you're a fence? <laughs> this auto. The is a mess. Nope, we are not allowed to jump over you like you're a fence. Nothing else? Are we sure? Because I don't want to leave again and find out that... Gee, Stefan, it'd be great if you did anything. Here we go. This isn't what we're looking for. How do we know? How do we know this is not what we're looking for? <gasps> can we go higher and higher? Hold on. Can we... Can we... Okay, hold on. So we're up here. Can we... We can step a little higher here. Too bad there's no jump button. Oh, I can't even get back there anymore. Here we go, here we go. Now from here, can we... God damn it, I just fell out. I, I think that might be as high as we can go. Hold on, let's sidle in here. Let's jam our way up on top of this can. God damn it, nope, we can't. Okay, well I think that's everything in the garage. Oop, what was that? What was that? Here we go. No good. We need diplomatic plates. Okay. If you don't mind, we have a few questions. Packards are great cars. But this doesn't look like the kind of place favored by foreign embassies. How do you know about this? I don't know Valdez. The embassy bought the car. All I know is he must know a quality car when he sees one. Nailed it. So Valdez was just uh, driving I didn't by think he looked as shifty as they often do. Yeah, something like that. Happens I thought that was time. just his face. Where can we find Delgado? 
I don't know. Sure as hell isn't here. When you set the standard, yeah, when you set the standard as this, as this is a lie, I just think a constant stoic grimace is like, I guess this man is just unhappy with his life all of the time. You're lying. You've got him holed up somewhere. I'm having nothing to do with that kid. You can't prove any different. Okay, wait, Valdez, we need to prove. So this is Valdez's notebook, and I think his name is in it. That kid's okay. temper's nope. like a time bomb. I want nothing more to do with him or you. But your name is in his book. A wrench from this dealership was used to strip the wheels from a Packard last night, Mr. Dewey. A couple of Hispanics were seen taking parts. We've had a spate of thefts ourselves. Comes with the location. Even bastards to steal anything the minute your back is turned. Okay, so this is not a cue, so this is bad cop, I guess? What are you hiding, Dewey? Spill it! You don't want the LAPD getting too interested in this place. So I hire a few illegals. Ooh. It's cheaper than I mean, hiring it's... returning GIs, and they have less attitude. Accurate to the time period the is unfortunately is... accurate to now, too. They're a little light-fingered. We'll be keeping an eye on you, Dewey, and spreading the word that you don't like to cooperate with the LAPD. Okay. We can walk in here. Oh, maybe I was supposed to walk in here before I did things. Maybe there's other clues in here. But they didn't even let me. As soon as I got close to them, they started talking. Whoops. Operator, give me dispatch. Who am I calling? What am I calling? Just just calling for fun. Putting you through now. Thank you, operator. Cole Phelps, badge twelve forty seven. Just wondering if you want to get dinner tonight. How can I help, detective? I need an address for a Gabriel Delgado. Yep, that's what I meant to Delgado. do. Definitely calling for Gabriel Delgado. Last known address has him living with a common law wife. 103 Hill Street, apartment 3. Time Thank to visit you. Gabriel Delgado. See how good his excuse is. Uh, excuse me, Stefan. We still have other stuff to look at here. We can't just steal these cars. These are extremely loud footprints. And they're kind of squeaky. That's like anti-ASMR. Um, excuse me, are you washing this car? Because I would like to get in it. Ooh, no, I don't want to go yet. I want to go talk to... Oh, sorry, you you mean I'm not supposed to take this car? Jesus, Cole! Hold on, let's let's ruin all of your cars. Let's let's go. We just hit all of them. Oh, I can't even hit all of them. It's okay. We will we will get them eventually. Eventually oh, we will hit the car. Unbelievable. Here we go. Here we go. We're just, gonna, we're just gonna go and give us a nice. Oh god, we're stopping because of the curb. This isn't working. God damn maniac! Here we go. Hold on. We we should we should unlock all these cars while we're already ruining all of them. Nope. Oh, actually, maybe they don't do it by paint type. I thought they also um, separate the cars by paint. Excuse me. Wow, I have to let Stefan in first because the other side's blocked. They won't even let me get in the car. Christ alive! You know, Stefan, you don't have to get in every single one of these cars. <laughs> You, you can just choose to, uh... <laughs> you can choose to, to just wait for me outside. Nope, I have to let you in first. Maybe they changed it for the PS4 update.
I needed to dramatically leap over that curb. Oop. Everything's okay. Everything's fine. See, he's alive! You doing okay there, buddy? You're fine? There you go. Me, you'd be fine. Is that your blood? Yeah. That's, that's, that's my husband's blood. It's okay. I'll make it up to you later, Stefan. Come on, let's go. Um, did you see that man? Is that Stefan? Did you see Stefan leap through into the air and then fall and now he's frozen? Um, Stefan, are you okay? Stefan? Stefan, are you okay? Are you fine? Did you lose a lot of blood? Is that why you're acting weird? What? What happened? Stefan? Stefan, are you okay? I'm sorry I ran you over with the car. You read the story in the Examiner about the Navy developing three-dimensional movies? What's a dimension? You know, like a graph. Vertical axis is Y and horizontal is X. Well, that's clear as mud. Now look what you've done! When I ask you a goddamn question, you see. answer it and you so, know what it is, Stefan. popping out of the screen. That's ridiculous. Scare people out of the theater. God's name would want that. I don't know. People scoffed at the idea of talkies and color. Look what we have now. The next time I ask you if you fucking know what a dimension is, you better answer yes. Ooh, look at this house! I wanna do an can we go in? No, we can't go in. They don't have they don't have golden handles. Do they have like a pipe that I can climb? No, I'm just gonna run into this pole forever. Patient. Oh, he kind of reached out to touch me. <laughs> He's like, Phelps. Phelps, you doing okay? Get out of the way. Get out of the way, poles. Oh my god, I can't. I can't. I literally cannot leave when I want to. Okay, hey, sorry, sorry, Stefan. Let's go. Let's go, Stefan. You know, this isn't a tank, Phelps. Okay, that time, actually, I didn't hit anyone. They hit me. Although, in their defense, I was not in a place where I should have been. But... That technically was not me hitting anyone. Watch what you're doing! <laughs> Work with me. Oh, oh, did I break this car? It won't even bat. I think I broke this car complete. Where is. I feel like there's supposed to be more engine in there. Hey, sorry, a propos of nothing. Hey, excuse, excuse me. Come back here. I need your car. No. Fuck you. Fuck you. Get out of the damn. Get out of the car. Stefan got, got in the way. He was in the walking over to the door animation and then he shoved me. Out of the car! Police! That's a 
Oh, I knew I should have driven. Over 200 were killed. Oh, going the wrong way down this tunnel, and also the flag is above us, maybe? Take it easy, fellas. I'd rather get there in one piece. Well, now you've either got to stop or put your fucking foot down. Perfect. Actually, wait, hold on. Before we go in, actually, I don't even think this is the right house. Um, but we should look around outside. That's Okay, let's see what Gabriel has to say for himself. I just hope our Archangel hasn't already flown. Wow. What the hell is this guy doing? I'm sorry, what was that? What the hell is what guy doing? What the hell is what guy doing? What did you... Leave him be. <gasps> Come on, Cole, leave him alone. <laughs> I think that this game really um, accomplished okay, what it set okay. out to do. He's had enough. I, I feel a very much like a <laughs> like an LA cop. Phelps, leave him be. <laughs> oh wait, hold on. Oh god, I didn't want to go in. I wanted to look outside. Can I climb up this pole? No. Ooh, hold on, there's a thing in the backyard. God damn it. But it has a golden knob. Okay, well, I guess there's nothing out here. I just need to go inside. Why does Dane keep going on and offline over and over, and giving me a ton of notifications? Here he is, apartment three. Uh, where do you see a number three marked on that door? Uh, where don't you see a number three marked on that door?
Hey, keep it down, would you? That little girl just got the. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> LAPD, ma'am. We're looking for Gabriel Delgado. Gabriel? We're from the police. Policia, you understand? Yes, I understand. Oh my god, Stefan, don't be racist. Would you come inside. What is your name? Ana Rodriguez. Is Gabriel Delgado here, Ms. Rodriguez? No. What do you want with Gabriel? Is he in trouble? Stay where you are, Miss Rodriguez. We need to take a look around. But he is not here. I have told you. Check out the surrounds. I'll stay with the broad. By that you mean you don't want to so do how anything. How long are you, Anna? Nearly twenty weeks. Right. So how's it going to be when you go into labor and he's not around? You are wrong about Gabriel. He will be a good father. Already he works hard to provide for us. Unless you help us here, Anna, your little one won't be seeing Papa for a very long time. Keep it down, would you? My little girl just got to sleep. What, what, what's going to make him say that? I, okay, if I go down again and knock on the doors again and come back up, will it reset again? So noisy. Okay, so I can't do it twice in a row, so I need to go down and knock again and then see if he has more dialogue. He has quite a bit of dialogue for, for, for someone who you would not see unless you run all the way back downstairs and knock again. Because if you knock a, with uh, if you knock on the door across the street, uh, across the hallway from him, that's just the door you actually need to go to. Ah, oh, that's it. No more dialogue. Boo. Nothing significant. Nope. Doesn't give me anything to go on. that light just turn off oh I just okay that that lamp is now in your bed serving breakfast for two Anna you should have cleared up Oh, so that's how we know he's downstairs. The little shed. Funny that it was locked before we couldn't get in. It looks like Valdez gets his wheel back. Maybe. No. 
Okay, so if he's not hiding in here though, it doesn't make sense why this door was locked before. I doubt it. Other than they just didn't want us to go in here. Seems irrelevant. But how would she have known we were coming? Was it the fact that we knocked 1800 times? Diplomatic license plates. Hmm. Don't think this is any use to us. So it's the 63W3S8. Optimistic call. That's it? Okay. So did that door just unlock after we opened this door as an event flag or something? She should really tell us that she's boiling water and then we will know so it doesn't kill everyone. Difficult to tell whether it's the suspect vehicle from the scene. Certainly Gabriel's pride and joy. You know, she pronounced his name Gabrielle, and then we proceed to continue to call him Gabriel over and over again. Souvenirs are a dumb move. I don't think this is going to help us. Cole Phelps confirmed not a Christian does not think that the Holy Bible will help him. You're in serious trouble, Miss Rodriguez. But Gabriel is not here. I have done nothing wrong. Why did he steal the car, Anna? The customer insulted him. He has his honor, no? Hmm. Gabriel's been in trouble before. He left you here alone to answer for him, and you expect me to believe that his motive was honor? Please don't yell at me. I've done nothing wrong. Tell us the truth, Anna. Has Gabriel been here? I haven't seen him for at least three nights. Yeah, yeah, I'm guessing it was it was truth because she's just angry and that this is either doubt or or wrong. Wait, so she's hot. It was I haven't seen him in a, in a few nights. Let's look at you our notebook. You lying to me, and I'll send you and your baby to jail. He lives oh, that's here. right. Yeah, we do with the flag. He hasn't come home. I swear it. Stolen Argentinian flag, just to make sure. Let's look at everything. The wrench, the wheel, that's an old Ford. The notebook, the breakfast plates. Oh, I guess also maybe the breakfast plates? Hmm. What would be more likely the answer? Because this was definitely taken from the car, which would means he goes home. But then the breakfast plates is also... Um, there's two people. Yeah, I don't know. Plates does seem likely because because the the existence of the plates is is purely just to say that she set the table for two people. So it is probably plates. But I feel like in real life, what do you want? the like the flag seems like a more sure bet because the flag was at the scene of the crime and then it's no longer the scene of the crime and it's at home. And maybe she's making. Enough, Anna. A lot of food for herself. There are signs all over this place that he's been back. <laughs> wow, he didn't even say what the proof is. He, he just says night. there are signs. <laughs> I have never seen him so angry. He went out to his shed and put some things in it. I don't know what and I don't want to know. I love him. Why is, why is Dane logging online again? What is wrong with Dane's internet connection? 
We found a license plate matching our stolen vehicle in the shed. Add in the assortment of parts, and we can make Gabriel for a dozen other thefts. It's time to get serious, Anna. You must ask these questions of Gabriel. I know nothing of these car parts. I know nothing about these car parts. You're lying, Anna. I think you're a willing accomplice. I don't actually think she's a willing accomplice, but I just what want to see this dialogue. What proof do you have that I stole the cars? Look, look. I don't have any proof, I don't think. Um, I mean, I guess the license plates are here, but they were found in, in uh, Gabrielle's, um, so probably not. You're off the hook, for now. Then tell us where he is! If your baby is born in prison, Anna, the corrections officers will take it from you. You will see your son or daughter through a metal grate for half an hour a week. The start line is on first in Santa Fe. You're off the hook for now. Then tell us the where he is. To the river. <laughs> Many policia have wrecked trying to follow him. How many kids are you gonna kill, Kenny? We will put in a good word for you, Anna. As far as we're concerned, this sits with Gabriel. Start line. And I'm sure like you could you can trust the cop. Definitely. Time. No wonder Delgado has such an eye for fine art. We know where the kid is. Let's go stop these clowns and get them off the streets. Where's your friend? Where's your mouthy friend? Is that him? Come what on, are you? Cole, leave him alone. Linebacker! Why is Dane logging online again? Maybe Dane should just give up on playing video games tonight. I, I tried to go in the car and it wouldn't let me because Stephanie did to get in the car first and then he doesn't What kind of man leaves his pregnant girlfriend at home while he goes off to play cars pregnant girlfriends aren't always a barrel of laughs Everyone needs to let off a little steam some guys wouldn't come back home at all. Are you yeah, talking pregnant from girlfriends, you know? Isn't that a... <laughs> I wouldn't feel safe in a tank with you driving. Quick as we shut one of these races down, another one springs up somewhere else. Kids used to steal cars to sell them. Now they just want to wrap them around a lamppost. I can't believe, the like... Next 16 year old I'm agreeing with Stefan Careful. here. I just want to go down the stairs in this car. I know I can do it, I've done it before. Okay. Dane's logging online again. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Did they did they add a poll explicitly because you used to be able to ride down this? Easy. You've helped quite enough. Yes, yeah, Stefan, you've helped quite enough. This is your fault, clearly. This is a slow car.
look at that. We didn't even hit anyone that block. Oh shit, we need to go out this way. We need to go out this way. Ugh, God damn it. Okay. Can we can we jump off this bridge? Because we can't drive off this bridge. I tried. Nope. Oh god, how far does this bridge go? Come on, Stefan, hurry up. Just a scratch. Dane's logging on again. Oh no, There's do we have to win the race in our shitty right truck? There. Okay, they put us back in a real car. Quick! They're getting away! Phelps, 1247. Requesting okay. assistance at first and second. We're looking for the red car? Reports of an illegal street. Get out of the way. Stay on Delgado. Eden, get out of the way. Why are you all still away. racing? Gonna lose him. Or I guess now you're just trying to stop me from getting him. Why do you care? Wouldn't you want to run away from the police? Lord knows if I were ever in an illegal street race and the cops came after, like, Jason, it'd be like, oh, God, yep, was our boy. fuck it, get it out of here. <laughs> you, you could take Jason, it's fine. It's like Diddy Kong Racing! Enough games, Phelps. Take this guy out. Step on it, Phelps. Take him out. You're gonna die, Archo. Oh, Dane's coming online again. Into his wheel arches. Come on. God damn it, Cole, hold it steady. I am I am holding it steady. Fuck you. Really? Really? We're still running? Gabriel Delgado, you're under arrest for Grand Theft Auto. Fuck you, puto! You should speak to the maricon! Valdez, I showed him! Now who's a man? I should've burned his fucking car! You got a foreign dignitary outed as a fruit and a kitty raper. A car dealer we're gonna oh, let slide for the okay. kickbacks. And a street punk car So we never even interviewed the guy. Liberties with other people's autos again anytime God soon. damn it! That Detective Phelps is not a bad haul. You keep your chin low and your hands high, and you keep bringing me clearances just like that. No, I want to interview That's the guy. Policing, and we need more of it in this department. I just thought that it, I, I just thought I should interview him at the, at the end of the thing when everyone's already like at the police station. Now I don't even get to interview him and find out that unfortunately I was right and he is actually gay and also a pedophile, and that is really unfortunate. I don't even know what the guy looks like. I'm gonna have to look it up on YouTube later. You have any plans for weekend Liberty Jack? My sisters have been working in Los Angeles. In a I just assumed factory. that interview would be the last thing to do, which is why I, I kept putting it off because I didn't want to like end the you, mission. Jack. Are they cute? <laughs> my sisters, Hank. Attention! <laughs> They're my Final sisters, inspection Hank. before Liberty. Good job, Kelso. 
Nice job, Texas. Are we going somewhere, gentlemen? Full inspection. It had better be exceptional if any of you want liberty this weekend. Kelso, this carbine. The bore is dirty. No, it isn't. Are you arguing with me, Kelso? Do what you need to do, Sergeant. You know the bore is immaculate. Weekend liberty cancels. Two-day field drill. Clean this rifle. No. Do you know the penalty for insubordination, Kelso? Jack, don't do it. Forget him, Hank. He doesn't have what it takes. Are you two finished? Are you going to clean this rifle? No, Sergeant. Cole is right. I'm going to stop playing games and join a rifle company and fight the real enemy. Oh. Wow, it's me. Oh no, Stefan died. All right, gentlemen, I just got this handed to me. A hit and run felony at Ray's Cafe, 208 North oh, Los wow. Angeles. Oh, who, wow. Who the got fuck would hit and run someone? On that, that, Get down there, see if you can find that's any really bad. To make on the they should car. go to jail for a long time. Yeah, I'm thinking of moving up to a 45. I want to put him down in one round. Bronco, can you give me a hand? I got a heart. Let's go find this awful person who did this unimaginable I didn't come crime. I came to California to be a secretary. I came to California to be a star. I want to know your backstory. I want to, I want to know all of your internal motivations and hopes and dreams. Seeing people like you, but I had to pay admission. He's dull as dishwater, but I'm not with him for the conversation. I'm with him so that we can look at each other and not say anything over dinner. Get the fuck! What are you doing? Stefan, what's your problem? Wait, it, it's what woman? on earth is that man doing? First person you interview? The one with the husband? Oh, the one who like left? Let me guess. You're lost in my eyes. Oh, huh. cool. Looks like the DA is going to press charges. Anna Rodriguez might do time. I'll speak to the DA. She suffered enough. Mm, I don't know, Cole. She's an easy make, and the DA likes convictions. I'll convince him to let it go. Why? You're going to kill someone! Yeah, uh, who would hit someone with their vehicle? Let's go arrest that criminal. How do you do that? I'll give him something better. <laughs> I should have. I, I was definitely on the way to run into two people before that cutscene cut in. Detectives, over here. Cole Phelps, traffic. What have we got? Because a white male named Lester Patterson walked out of the bar and into the street, car hit over there, and he ended up here, dead on impact by the look of it. Have you canvassed the area? The only one with anything useful to contribute is the young lady over there. She lives above the bar, named Shannon Perry. This police officer. No, it's not a stage name. Twenty-four years old. Looks she left Kansas to follow like that one actor. Is that so? 
You know, I'm we'll take a formal much. statement later. Right now, we're going to take a look around. Did you hear that stock cat noise? Do I like this hat? Fuck this hat. Do I like this hat? Fuck this hat. Does he like me? Like me not. Am I Michael Jackson? Yeah. I ended on his face and ended up here. Car must have struck him from behind. His face looks pretty good for having landed on it. I would have expected it to be very gruesome. Dear Mr. Patterson, it is with great pleasure that we acknowledge the receipt of your application 14F and pre-approval has been granted to raise the weekly premium on your life insurance policy from 370 per week to 590 per week. This raise became effective on January 1st, 1947, where our standard veteran care policy entitled you to a lump sum payout of $10,000 in the event of your untimely death or permanent incap in incap incapacitation. In, 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 capacai, in capacitation. Uh, this new plan secures your beneficiaries a sum of $16,000 we at California Fire and Life thank you and wish you good health and security for the future. Yours sincerely, Curtis Benson. We can notify next of kin. Wait, so the purpose of pressing X here is just so that you can pull the money out and have no dialogue, no zoom in, no information whatsoever, and you can no longer move the hand. Like, you have to press back. Enhance. Make sure I'm not wearing any gloves whatsoever so I could just get this blood all over me. Get my fingerprints all over this. What have you got on the victim? From all reports, he was intoxicated at the time of the accident. I'll know how intoxicated once I've done the autopsy. Looking him over now, I'd say he died on impact. What about the chest wound? Isn't that inconsistent? Very common in auto injuries. Look for a car with a prominent hood ornament. Those things are killers. Careful where you're stepping, Phelps. I don't come down to the station house and... Excuse me, careful where I'm stepping? What was that? Careful? I didn't quite hear you. I, I'm not sure exactly what you said. Ooh, stock cat noise again. Body traveled a good 20 feet. Whoa! Whoa! Look at Stefan trying to get out of view so I can tell he's not doing any work. This blood is a long way from the body. The car must have been going like a bat out of hell. So the driver managed to break before the impact.
It's all yours, Detective. Still missing something. That 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 cat sounds super unhappy. Wow. Oh. Oh. Come on, come on, there we go. No, come on, there we go. A knife covered in blood. Are you, are you knife. fucking kidding me, this Phelps? This is a hit-and-run case, Phelps. Anyone could have thrown away a kitchen knife. In any case, we'll want tech services to scrub the alleyway before they bag the knife. So, you're telling me he picked up a knife, and he looked at it and was like, okay, this is a knife, and then he had to turn it at a really specific angle so that he could say, it's a bloody knife. Ooh, there's something. Definitely part of the case. No good to me. Is that a pole we can climb? Not much help. I don't think so. It would take a smarter man than me to connect that. I can climb this pole. They're like, Phelps, what are you doing? Just interview the woman. Poor Stefan has to follow me. Can I kick- <gasps> Can I kick him? Like the other people kick you if they're above you? There's nothing useful up here. Am I even in the mission space anymore, or am I just completely out of it? Who knows? Why would they give me the ability to climb up this hole? Now I'm just getting extremely far from the... way for me to slide. Here we go. I mean, I know there's still something to find because I haven't gotten the chime yet. I'll take the bartender, you work the rest of the room. Stefan, why are you fucking just standing there? 
Oh, I see. So I can use intuition to to find out where things are. I don't want to do that though. Not now, at least. What was that chime? Shrink to the stars. Courtney, come in. Have a seat. Thanks, Doctor. How are you finding working at the clinic? It's, uh, fine. Are you sure? Can I be honest with you, Doctor? I would hope so, Courtney. I was hoping that the therapy would be more beneficial. Treatment can, unfortunately, be very long-term. So many of the patients here are addicts, Doctor. Many of them have been for years, Courtney. In the past, these people were condemned to sanatoriums. We can reveal the root of the problem. Then we have a chance to help them. And until then, they stay sedated? Do I detect a hint of reproach, Courtney? I was expecting yeah, the fuck, more, Courtney? Doctor. I'm sorry. I don't mean to criticize. Part of being a physician, Courtney, is learning to be patient. How is it possible to keep so many of them on their medications, Doctor? Many of their addictions are illegal. Oh, many things in life are gray, Courtney. What may on the surface appear to be illegal is actually a benefit to society at large. I still totally do not remember how that newspaper plot connects to anything. I don't even know if it does. Maybe it's just a side story. But I thought it did. I'm Detective Phelps of the LAPD. How can I help, Detective? Your name would be a good start. This guy looks like Jean Robert Hired help. from I Survivor. Run place the owner ain't around. Where is the owner? He stepped out. Somebody had to take Lorna of Mrs. Patterson home. Who that? What can you tell me about the accident? Not a lot. It was busy in here, and all I heard was the impact. <laughs> so what was he doing outside? It's against licensing regulations to drink on the sidewalk. Mr. and Lorna were having a fight. The owner made him take it outside. It was pretty ugly. Do you know the victim? Yeah. Lester Patterson. He's a regular here, or he was. Not one of your favorite customers? Lester was special, but not my kind of special. Was Lester drinking alone? No. He came here with his wife. She didn't seem too interested in the booze, though. I'm still missing something. What are we missing? What are we missing? Where's this sad cat I keep hearing? That's a lot of water sounds. What are we missing? I mean, this seems too far.
Ooh, I hear the sad cat somewhere over here. This also seems way too far. One more pass through the bar. And if you don't find anything, oh well. Cause I'm getting sleepy. Any of these doors? Any of these doors? Nope. I don't know why this room is available when there doesn't seem to be anything. Anything? Anything? Nothing? Do we use intuition? Actually, they won't even let me use intuition. Unless I go... They used to be like, press L1 to use it. Okay. How do I... Intuition points are gained... Okay, how do I... I think maybe I'm already done, and that's why it won't let me use it, because I thought it was like press L1. Let's, we're just going to assume we found everything. I'm at a loss. Witness statements next. We know Miss Perry? Yes? I'm Detective Phelps. This is my partner, Detective Bukowski. Can you tell us what happened? Well... I came to the window because I heard people arguing downstairs. The next time I tell the truth, after I'm done, I'm just going to stare blankly at everyone. Then what happened? I saw a car hit that poor man and knock him down the street. What kind of car was it? A dark red Lincoln Continental. Did you see the license plate? Only the first three letters, I'm afraid. Three, C, eight. Tell me more about the argument you heard. Well, there were two voices. A man and a woman, that's all. <laughs> hmm? Hmm. Why are you holding out on us, Miss Perry? I'm sorry. I was hoping to tell my story to the newspapers. I'd like to get my picture in the paper. I'm trying to find work as an actress, and things are pretty difficult. Cough it up, sister. We don't have all night. People arguing? They were husband and wife. I could tell by what she was yelling. Intimate things. Very embarrassing for the man. She was Thank yelling, you, you never put Your the toilet seat down. Helpful. You can go now. You really think so? I hope you find that driver and put him away. You certainly got away with the dames, Phelps. <laughs> Give it a rest, Bukowski. Let's see what the patrons have to say. Real happiness is when you marry a girl for love and you find out later she's got money. Thank you, human fortune cookie. If olive oil comes from olives, where does baby oil come from? Babies. Wrinkled was not one of the things I wanted to be when I grew up. <laughs> I just... <laughs> I just feel like all of these one-liners 
are, are the most bizarre things I've ever heard. A witness overheard an argument. Lester and Lorna, there's nothing like airing your dirty laundry in public, is there? Why was Lorna Patterson in such a hurry to leave? What is going on here? Lorna was pretty upset, so Leroy took her home. Lorna and Leroy are close. They've been talking about opening a new bar. Leroy? Leroy Sabo, the owner. How long have Lorna and Leroy been talking about this new bar? Uh, who knows? I just served the drinks. Bartenders hear all sorts of things. Are you going to tell me, or do we have to start playing rough? When Lester was drinking, he treated Lorna like dirt. He gambled away all their money. Lorna pitched Leroy about the bar. I don't know how interested he is. Is Leroy doing well? <laughs> Hell no. The only thing keeping this place afloat are the poker games. Thanks for your help, Lynch. I'm going to need you to sign a statement. Ooh, did I lock sure. an outfit? No problem. You get anything out of the regulars? They weren't giving too much away. They liked watching Lester and Lorna go a few rounds every other day. That's not what they and told Lester me. They talked to me about love olive tap. oil. What, what was Love Tap? Hold on, I gotta look at the outfit I just earned. Is this the outfit I earned? Maybe it's this one. This doesn't look familiar. Excuse me, can I use your phone? Where it says on the map that there's a phone here, but I am unsuccessful at finding it. Oh, here we go. Okay. Operator, give me R and I. Putting you through now. Phelps, badge twelve forty seven. How can I help, Detective? I need to run a partial license plate, three Charles eight. Cross check possible Lincoln owners. Suspect vehicle is a red Lincoln Continental. Just a moment, Detective. Only one possible make on that license. Registered to a William Shelton, 738 West Temple Street. Thanks for your help. Looks like we caught a break on this one. Sweet. Am I not allowed to use this car? I'm not allowed to use this car. Okay. Hurry up. It's a lucky break getting a partial ID. These cases are usually dead in the water after 24 hours if no one comes forward. Are you blind? Why don't they just stop? You heard about fight or flight during the war? Sure. Never back your enemy into a corner. That kind of stuff. Right. Well, in hit and run, the perp is already in flight. Open your eyes! I don't know. I, I don't understand who would ever do a hit or run. Right. Well, in hit and run, the perp is already in flight. It's easier to keep going. It takes a degree of moral courage to stop and accept responsibility. You're not as dumb as you make yourself out to be, are you, Stefan? I didn't know I was making myself out to be dumb.
Wait a second, it was 5 something a.m. when we pulled in and we waited two hours outside of his house. That's the son of a bitch right there. We've William been sitting Shelton? in this car yes. for two hours. It doesn't look good, Shelton. You packing your bags and making a run for it? You know why we're here. Yes. The accident. We've got witnesses who can put this car at the scene, not to mention the physical damage. This is open and shut, Shelby. Oh no, now we have all of his clothes. That coward thinks he can run from everything. Lay into his wheel arches. Come on. Um, it's fine. We're gonna catch up with him. It's okay. We got him. We got him. We got him right where we want him to. We're lulling him into a false sense of security. No wonder he killed someone driving like this. Yeah, he's the one that's driving poorly. Let that asshole get away! I can't believe someone would drive so recklessly that they would hit and run someone. We gotta catch this reckless driver, Stefan. We, we gotta catch this guy who just did a hit and run. He's heading into the station. Go on, get after him. Hold it right there, Shelton. These are the shiniest floors I've ever seen when we passed him. How does a vehicular manslaughter rap sound, Sheldon? I hit him. I admit it. I just panicked, but it wasn't my fault. What do you mean? The guy jumped right out in front of me. He came out of nowhere. There's nothing I could do about it. Why didn't you stop? Yeah, but then that's still a hit I've and run. I've had accidents before. That's it. We're done here. The DA is gonna love you. They weren't all my fault. I'm a surveyor. I need my license for my job. There were people around. A woman and a man were standing right next to him. I thought they could get him to a hospital. I'm telling you, it's not my fault. The guy is dead, Shelton. You can't be serious. William Shelton, you're coming downtown. We need to talk about a manslaughter charge. Leave the coroner and the paperwork. Procedure can wait. You should probably go speak to the wife and let her know what's happening. Okay. You become all hard at the prospect of paperwork, don't you? Where's my journal? Here we go. Locations. Our units also need assistance. 540 West 9th Street and Uncle Sam's Army Supply. 540 West 9th Street. Unit can handle code 2 identify. I like his uh, defense of, sure I hit him, but it's not actually a crime because other people were there and could have helped him. And they weren't all my fault. Like I, You're a even, goddamn menace! Even if someone just like jumps in front of your car, that's still a hit and run. This is not the way I'm supposed to go. I go well. Ooh, this makes fun noises. <laughs> K 
Can we try to get there in one piece? I think I'm gonna get there to in one piece. Yeah, do I tell you how to drive stuff on? This is really your fault. I, I love that it cuts from driving recklessly to uh, <laughs> peace. First, we check outside, just in case. We don't need to run that hard. about my husband? We're investigating the incident, ma'am. I see. Come in, won't you? Can you tell me what happened? What's to tell? He got hit by a car and now he's dead. You don't appear to be too upset about the fact. Well, he was kind of a piece Master of shit. and I met on a furlough in 44. We got married that weekend. People don't understand it now, but that happened a lot back then. I see. So you probably did well to stick it out this long. What's that supposed to mean, mister? I think it's about time you left. I have someone here, I beg I... your pardon? You're gonna have to run that one by us again, sister. It's okay, Lorna. I'm Leroy Sabo. Well, well. Nice to see you're comforting the grieving widow, Mr. Sabo. All right, wise guy. Do you have any intelligent questions you would like me to answer? You can confirm Mrs. Patterson's story. Lester lost at cards. He was kind of hard to control when he lost his temper. He turned without looking and walked right out in front of the car. It wasn't good. What's your relationship with Mrs. Patterson, Mr. Sabo? We're friends. Good friends. You expect me to believe that? Look, I was filing for divorce. Mental cruelty. Lester could be a mean son of a bitch. And Lester knew about that? No. I hadn't told him. Well, hasn't this worked out well for the two of you? I feel almost bad for busting in on this little rendezvous. How did the car come to hit Lester? He walked straight into the path of an oncoming car. There's this weird ambient noise that they play during all of these uh, investigations. Her eyes got so wide. You expect me to believe that, Lorna? It's all very convenient. Gambling for Lester was like the needle for a hophead. He was yelling at me. He was yelling at the whole world. I kind of felt sorry for the driver. Poor guy had no chance. You were arguing in the bar and on the sidewalk. We were always arguing. So what? <laughs> Don't lie to me. Something was different this time. <laughs> You're clutching at straws. Where is where is uh the woman's um Statement. Was it this? You married? Nope. The arguments are never any different. The bartender said that you and Leroy were planning oh, well, to go into business together. This is probably where we use it. Can you explain how you'll get the money to do that? I have a little money saved away. Sabo what? has no money. This place can't be worth much. Where is the money coming from? My father left me this house and some money. Lester took out a second mortgage. I held on to the money and kept my mouth shut. And that's all I'm going to say on the subject. We're leaving, Lorna. But this doesn't add up. We'll be keeping an eye on you. I 
just saw something. Where was it? Where is the thing? Oh, it's a telephone. Operator, message for KGPL. Putting you through now. Phelps badge 1247. How can I help, Detective? Messages for me, please. Just one detective from the coroner. Message reads, Phelps, see me at Central Morgue immediately. Results of the Patterson autopsy. I like how we're just using their, their phone. <laughs> now that we've interrogated you and insinuated that you murdered your husband and you told us to leave, we're going to use your phone. Probably not them. Everyone's just making tea. Circumstantial. No, that's not what I want. This was the this murder is... weapon. This was the murder weapon. Incidental. This was the murder weapon. Not everything here is going to be relevant. This is the murder weapon. Well, I just I just want to make it so that he's looking directly at my butt. You're not allowed to look at her. You're not allowed to look at her. No. You could have killed him. Yeah, but I did it. <laughs> that smash cut to the morgue. Hmm. I survived the war for this. Ah. One nice thing about ego is they don't talk about other people. We can put the driver in front of a judge in less than a week. You'd be making a big mistake. Run that by me again? The victim was dead before the car hit him. Two puncture wounds to the right side of the thorax. Second puncture reached his heart. Probably has nothing to do with the bloody knife we found. Been doing this job 23 years, son. No one's ever laughed at one of my jokes. He was stabbed to death? Long, sharp knife. Length of a bayonet. We found a knife in the alleyway. Where is it now? Was it bagged? By Patrolman Kaplan. Perfect. I'll get you a definite match. Jesus, we got him. Murder one. We were right there and they tried to stare us down. Now they'll both get the gas chamber. We have the knife, we have the coroner's report, and I bet we could roll Sabo as a witness. Oh, Bring her in. Hmm. Hey, what are you doing? I'm, I'm walking out the door. What's, what's your problem? What's your problem? 
Hey, you... fuck you, asshole! Yeah, fuck you too. You're like I can't push you around like that child. Wanna grab me too? Uh, yeah, the, the, the morgue proved that he was, uh, stabbed to death. By the bloody knife that we could not determine was the bloody knife until we turned it 90 degrees. Take it easy, Phelps. Excuse I'd me, I would like to go between you two. I would like to go between you. I would also like- Why are you in the middle of the road? In a line? What part of... Why are you in the middle of an intersection? Oh, because I hit this car. Okay. Nope. Never mind. Carry on. We're going this way now, Sharon. Maniac! Did I ruin this car? I can't drive it anymore. LAPD, police emergency. Was he passed out? He was like leaning over. Really, we just did everyone a favor by getting a drunk driver off the streets. Wrong house. And I bet they're gone. He's spoken to the coroner, Mrs. Patterson. He confirmed your husband's cause of death. We'd like you to come downtown and answer some questions. It wasn't me. It was Leroy's idea. Leroy stabbed him. I had nothing to do with it. Where is Leroy now? He's in the bedroom. You're very good, Lorna. Put the gun down, Leroy. If you do something stupid now, you don't stand a chance in front of the grand nice jury. Nice of you to give me up, sweetheart. All that whispering in my ear telling me how we had to get rid of him, how good it could be, all the money we could claim, all that planning, how to get him into the street, how to make it look like an accident. For God's sake, you Leroy, shut up! You the banks is covered, baby. I have nothing to do you with it. Do you think I'm going to fry for you, He's Lorna? He's a crazy man. Shoot him. Shoot him, for God's sake! It's too late, Sabo. Sabo, stop or I will shoot! Stop or I will shoot and miss eight times and then eventually get you on the ninth time. Last chance to surrender, Sabo. Excuse me, man sitting on a bench. Get out of the way. Oh god, it's another hostage. Oh Jesus, okay. Are we gonna make a bargain or what? Put the weapon down, now! Put the weapon down, please don't you shoot her yet. Off. We me. did it! One shot, one kill! Did she freeze in the air? You look spooked, Phelps. That was one shot, it just happened to make before. two sounds. It never gets any easier, Bukowski. 
Ooh, he made little blood angels. So, I give you a hit and run, you bring me back fraud, conspiracy, and first degree murder. This is how a good detective operates, Phelps. You take nothing at face value. You keep digging and asking questions until you get to the truth. You got some sharp elbows on you, detective. I like that. Yeah, they're keep actually the really work. painful when I try to hang out with people. They just keep stabbing them. Another visits to Roy's and you would have seen what Leroy was prepared to do to avoid jail. A raise? Okay, after this cutscene is over, I'm gonna call tonight night because I'm sleepy. Phelps, Kowski. B-Cop says he located a green Kaiser Fraser from the hot sheet. Address is 6 West 2nd Street. Get over there and see what you can find out. Go on! Sorry to inconvenience you. We're on it, Captain. Woo! Uh, now let's go see if we have the, uh, the cab. I should have the cab. Just to make sure what, what was erased when we redid that mission. Is it under extras? Probably. Vehicle showroom, perfect. Oh god. Uh, is it a four door or is it a two door? Definitely not a sports car. Oh, here's where we can change the color. Okay, so I guess it just unlocks all colors. I mean, I guess that's kind of nice. Oh, 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 is this the taxi? This is our taxi. Nice, okay. So we didn't lose that, that's good. Okay, good night, thanks for watching.